Hi, my name is Victor Love. I work with Fletcher Engineering Laboratories in the Meter and Systems Control Group, and I'm here today to show you and demonstrate how simple and easy it is to use SEL products. Today, I'm gonna to show you how to set up the 735 with Accelerator Quick Set in 10 minutes or less, some basic settings, and what you need to know to do that. The first thing I'm gonna do is do a read on the meter, and I'm gonna find out what's inside this guy. While the computer is going out and pulling that information, what I'm gonna tell you is the 735 comes pre-configured from the factory with factory settings in there, so you don't have to do anything. You can take it right out of the box, install it in the field, and you're up and running with your most valuable billing quantities, such as kilowatt hours and KVAR hours, already installed in a low profile recorder. So you don't have to know anything about Accelerator. Now for your new users, you'll simply go out, read the meter, and pull the default settings out of there, and we'll tweak those settings just a little bit, and I'll show you how quickly that, that is, and easy it is to understand. But we're just about done reading all the settings. There's 13 files in there. It takes roughly one minute to pull all the settings out of the meter. And as you see on my computer screen, once we're there, we see our settings. First thing we're gonna do is open the general settings, and we're gonna go to the identifier and scaling. The meter identifier is very important, especially if you're an MV90 user. That's an ID that the meter uses to communicate with MV90, and the MV90 goes to a specific address, a specific meter, and knows that I'm talking to the correct device to pull a little profile data back. So we're gonna give this meter a name, and I'm gonna call it SEL735. Now we're gonna put in a CT and PT ratio, which is real critical. You can leave these default setting as one, or we can change them. Let's say, for example, we have a 400 to five current transformer in the field. So that gives us an 80 to one ratio by simply dividing five into 400. And we'll say our PT ratio is a 60 to one ratio. So we'll type in 60 there. We've already done the first step. The next step we need to do is on events and logging. This is where we'll set up our load profile recorder. And we'll open events and logging and load profile. And we see our recorder number one is already set up. And I'm gonna deselect some channels that I don't want. I'll simply click on the ellipse button and I can highlight and hold my shift key and put the other channels I don't need back into the in storage, if you will, into the internal recorder. I click OK. I select my interval rate, which can be anywhere from three seconds up to two hours. Typical rate is 15 minutes. So I'm set with the first recorder. I can extend the number of days as many as 5,000 days. The next thing that we're gonna do, and the last thing, we're gonna pick a communication channel. Now I'm already communicating with the meter via ethernet cable, so we're gonna look at the ethernet settings. A typical communication link is telephone modem. So we're gonna open the communications link, and we're gonna to go to ports, and we're gonna go open port one, our ethernet settings. Now we have a basic, and an advanced settings. But I'm gonna open the advanced. What we see here, we have the enabled port and port security, so we can give a read-only access or a level two access, meaning you can change anything. We have a default Telnet virtual port of 23, and we notice our IP address uh, is already in there that we're communicating with the meter. So you can change this IP address and your router address if you need to. All we need to do now, since we've already made those settings, is click on send. And we're gonna send these settings to the meter. Now Accelerator knows what settings that I have changed or I've looked at or reviewed. It simply checks the box for you. And since we didn't change anything in port one, we don't have to resend port one settings, but we could. I simply click okay, and I'm gonna send these new settings directly to the meter. And once those settings are done, we are complete, and we've done this all in, in less than 10 minutes. 